Hello everyone, welcome to Ali Sad Gaming Time. Today we've got one old thing to talk about and a lot of new things to talk about. Here's the intro. So the Smash Bros Ultimate version 3.0 update came out within last week and also the Challenger Pack 1 also came out featuring Joker, Momentous and more. Overall it's a very cool Challenger Pack if you have Persona and if you do enjoy the Persona 5 and the Persona games in general. But yeah that's all really I need to talk about. Oh, Stage Builder, Stage Builder is also back with tons of other features and in fact I'll show you the trailer for that update now. Joker, it's the moment you've been waiting for! So many legendary fighters! Awesome! Uh, are you sure he can handle this? I mean, he's got a knife and a gun. I'm sure he'll be fine. I don't know. It looked pretty tough. Harness the power of the heart to summon a persona. Unleash the rebellious spirit growing inside you! Persona! Oh, Arsene. Arsene? Can't he use a more powerful persona? What are you talking about? Arsene is awesome! It's Joker's main persona! As long as you hold on to your rebellious spirit, Arsene will give your attacks an extra punch! Wow! He can use wings instead of his grappling hook! If Joker is attacked while Arsene is around, he can counterattack with Tetracarn and Makarakarn! That's also a reflect. Is that even allowed? This is Mementos? The palace birthed from the hearts of the masses, right? Yes. And Mementos has a little secret. Isn't its entire existence a secret? The base color changes depending on the music. That's awesome! I can hardly believe my eyes! Now's our chance! Let's help him out! Witness the power of the Phantom Thieves! Go! Beat him up! Smash is looking cool! Hey, eh, Joker? Now, apparently, I'm not too sure if this is going on still or not, but Fortnite and the Avengers had a crossover event uh, to promote Avengers 4, but it also had a new game mode called Endgame, where you can, not play as, but obtain the weapons of Hawkeye, Thor, Iron Man, and Captain America, their weapons, and also Thanos makes a return um, within Fortnite. And also, um, it was only available for one day, but there was a Black Widow pack that you could actually get her costume and her weapons. Uh, that's gone now, but overall, the effect looks cool. DC Fake Games. There were two leaks last week. I only saw the one that was Outlaws. 
That was fake, unfortunately. I know, it's sad and it's frustrating that people have the time to mess with our lives. But, I will say, though, that um, a YouTuber going by Arkham Videos made a video about um, basically all the information that we know about Rocksteady and WB Montreal's DC game of what they're making. So I will put that video link down below. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you that those were fake. Mortal Kombat 11. Now, I'm not a more, I'm not a big Mortal Kombat fan. But when I heard about a leak about a certain character coming to the game as DLC, I had to talk about it. So it's been leaked that uh, Joker could be one of the DLC characters now. Um, from what I heard, this may have been data mined, but this is all that we've got to go on with. Um, so, yeah, I just thought that, that I should tell you. I don't usually report on Persona because I'm not a big fan of it. I will consider getting into it, but for now, I'll tell you my reasons in a minute. So, two, two Persona games have been announced. One of them being Persona 5 Royal. Now this has been announced for a very long time. It's been like this for a very long time. But but, but Persona 5 Royal had a trailer release um, but it's only within the Japanese voice actors. Now this game will be released on PlayStation 4. Comes out in Japan 2019 but worldwide next year. But here's why I'm interested in to this. But Persona 5 S is doesn't have any release date currently, but will come to PlayStation 4 and Switch. Now the reason why I'm interested in this is because of the gameplay style. It looks different, it looks neat, and overall I don't mind it, to be honest. But maybe if I play Persona 5 or play these games, I might actually understand the reason why Persona 5 or why people want that game to be on Switch. And finally, for E3 2019, Square Enix has announced their presence will be there at uh, at the 10th of June, and that's when they're going to be doing their live presentation. There's a possibility that they could talk about all the titles that they own, from Life is Strange to Kingdom Hearts 3 to uh, stuff that has to do with Final Fantasy and much, much more of their IPs. Um, so I just thought I should let you know. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope I get this episode out as soon as possible. I'm currently playing Days Gone at the moment. So far, I'm liking it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.